The Story of Ronda Rousey, the Queen of MMA From a Californian town to the world stage, Ronda Rousey smashed expectations at every turn. Olympic judo medals, UFC belts, and blockbuster films. How did she do it all? Let's discuss the story of a woman who would be crowned the Queen of MMA. Let's go back to the start of her early life. Early Life In Riverside, California, a future legend was taking her first steps. With a spirit as vast as her hometown, Ronda Rousey faced challenges early on. Life tested her mettle, presenting her with one of its worst blows, the loss of her father when she was just a little girl. But hardship frequently produces strength. As if that wasn't enough for a young soul to bear, Ronda fought with another challenge. She was born with a neurological disorder that made speech difficult for her. While some might have seen this as a limitation, it was another fight, another opponent to face head-on for Ronda. But despite the difficulties, Ronda's story wasn't merely one of hardships. It was one about resilience, grit, and an indomitable spirit that refused to back down. Little did Riverside know, its very own daughter would rise, reflecting its resilience in arenas worldwide. From early struggles to a defining passion, she was introduced to judo. Introduction to Judo At 11, Rhonda began judo, mentored by her mother, Anne Maria de Mars, the first American woman to win a World Judo Championship. Their training sessions were so intense that Rhonda once broke her mother's wrist during practice. By 17, Rhonda became the youngest judoka at the 2004 Athens Olympics. Even after an early loss, she took gold at the World Judo Juniors Championships in Budapest the same year. In 2006, she clinched gold at the Birmingham World Cup and was the first U.S. athlete with two junior world medals. In 2007, she grabbed gold at the Pan American Games and silver at the World Judo Championships. Her effort at the 2008 Beijing Olympics led to a bronze medal, making her the first American woman to achieve this in judo since its Olympic debut. Post-Olympics, Ronda shifted to a modest life in Venice Beach, balancing multiple jobs. Her judo training expanded to include sessions at Highestin MMA Academy, where she was introduced to a rougher judo style. Despite challenges, Manny Gamburian became a pillar of support, guiding her personally. Ronda's fascination with MMA grew, eventually leading her to Team Hayastan. Later, she joined the Glendale Fighting Club, trained in jiu-jitsu with multiple legends, and honed her wrestling with Leo Frinku. From judo mats to MMA cages, Ronda's journey showcased her determination and adaptability. From raw training to global recognition, let's take a look at her achievements. Judo Achievements In 2004, the Athens Olympics saw competitors worldwide, each with years of training and experience under their belts. Amidst these seasoned athletes stood Ronda, the youngest judoka present. It wasn't just her age that made her stand out. Her determination and skill caught everyone's attention. To qualify for such a grand stage at a tender age was proof of her unparalleled dedication and raw innate talent for the sport. In 2008, the world's eyes were on Beijing. The Olympics is a platform where legends are made and dreams come alive or are dashed in split seconds. Here, Ronda truly showcased her medal. She battled her way through intense matches, each more challenging than the last, to win the bronze medal. This wasn't just any achievement. With this win, Ronda made history. She became the first American woman to secure an Olympic medal in women's judo since its induction into the Olympic arena in 1992. If Ronda Rousey's incredible journey has inspired you, please give us a like, share this story, and subscribe for more. This remarkable accomplishment wasn't just a lucky break. It culminated with sacrifices, years of tough training, and an unwavering belief in herself. With these achievements, Ronda Rousey didn't just win medals. She inspired countless aspiring athletes and set a new benchmark in the judo world. After making her mark in judo, a new battleground waits for Ronda. Transition to MMA Following her judo career, Ronda took a temporary break from competition. Life took a more routine turn as she balanced multiple jobs, including stints as a bartender and cocktail waitress. But she still had a strong fighting spirit inside of her. In no time, Ronda started her MMA training and learns techniques from various fighting styles. 
Her early battles in this field were terrific, frequently finishing swiftly and leaving both her adversaries and spectators speechless. The armbar was a unique maneuver that came to be associated with Ronda. Ronda applied this approach in a systematic, efficient, and quick manner. This technique was used to end many of her battles, giving her a string of victories and making her opponents fear her. Her mastery of the armbar symbolized her domination in the MMA ring and was a tribute to her judo training. After discussing this, let's talk about the UFC career. UFC career. Initially, UFC President Dana White was hesitant about introducing women's divisions in the UFC. However, the rise and prowess of Ronda Rousey played an important role in altering his perspective. Recognizing her talent, dedication, and potential for women's MMA, White leaped. Ronda became the inaugural UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, paving the way for other aspiring female fighters. Her title reign was a personal achievement and a statement for women in combat sports. She faced Misha Tate in a rivalry that brought intense bouts and garnered massive attention. Ronda's bout against Liz Carmucci was groundbreaking, becoming the first women's fight to headline a UFC event. However, every champion faces hurdles, and Ronda's came in the form of Holly Holm, a bout that added another layer to her storied career. Through these encounters and more, Ronda didn't just compete, she transformed the perception and role of women in the UFC. Hollywood and WWE And the glittering lights of Hollywood called her. Ronda showed her adaptability by blending into the film industry with ease. She became well known for her parts in popular series like The Expendables and Fast and Furious, as well as for a notable appearance in Entourage. The public started to see Ronda as a powerful performer on the big screen in addition to her skills as a fighter. The squared circle, though, was beckoning. When she debuted for the WWE at WrestleMania, Ronda made a big impression. She didn't have to wait long to win the Raw Women's Championship, establishing her status as a competitor to be taken seriously in any setting. Her broad range of accomplishments propelled her outside the confines of only MMA and wrestling. Ronda Rousey was no longer just an athlete. She had evolved into a modern icon who was admired all over the world. Ronda Rousey's journey from Riverside's Judo Max to the UFC Octagon, Hollywood, and WWE Arenas highlights her determination and versatility. Past her achievements, Ronda has reshaped norms and inspired countless individuals. Her story isn't just about championships, it's about being a trailblazer for future generations.